All right, so you just put in a new hard drive and you say, oh, you know what, let's use it for media. I typically would say use for games, you can store your games on it, but you clicked on use for media. Oh no, now what do I do? Well, you push the home button, go to settings, and then we'll go to system, and then over to storage devices, and from here you can see my external storage devices. You can see this bottom one here. This is the one for pictures, music, and video. So if we want to switch that to be like this one that's formatted for, oh sorry, for this one formatted for games and apps, we'll go ahead and click on it with the uh, hit A, and you can say view contents, or you can just format for games and apps. And then you can just, it basically takes you back to the first page, you say use for games, and then you can rename it. We're not gonna do anything, so we'll just go ahead and hit the three bars and move over, format, and we're gonna keep the current setup where all my games actually go to my two terabyte drive and it's now formatting it. You'll give it a minute and it should pop back up. Eventually. And, oh. I just missed it. <laughs> of course, I put the camera down as it finishes. And it says, your external device is ready. So now, um, you can tell it whether you want to use it with multiple consoles. This is a new feature since I made my original videos on Xbox game drives. Um, but uh, this drive is attached to this console, so it'll be tied to just this console. Or you can choose this other option, is this drive will be used for multiple consoles. So we'll just say, for this console, and then we're all set. But if you ever want to change that, again, you just hit the uh, Xbox button there, go to settings, and then we'll go to system, storage devices, and you can see we have my device here. And if we hit the A button to select it, you can choose view my contents, move or copy, uninstall contents, change how drive is configured so here is where we can say hey is it only this device or is it available on all of your Xbox device Xbox devices so all of your forward compatible and backwards compatible games will be playable as long as this is already that is selected so hopefully this video is helpful and uh, give it a thumbs up and if you appreciated this video please consider hitting the subscribe button thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time